Black holes are easily the scariest things in the entire universe, but also they're one of the most fascinating. They've been portrayed in countless movies and astronomers have begun detecting more and more in the universe at an alarming rate. Black holes come in all sizes. Some are microscopic and some are so big that they have a mass greater than entire galaxies. But if there are black holes, are there white holes? Does a black hole have an opposite twin? Well, according to Einstein, the answer is yes. So let's find out exactly Exactly what they are, whether we found one, and if they actually exist. One of the many things that Einstein's theory of relativity predicted was the existence of black holes. His prediction described a point in space where the gravity was so immense that both time and space itself would curve so much that it would even bend and trap light. At the center of every black hole is thought to be a singularity, the point of infinite density at the center of a black hole. As scary as they are, black holes actually play very nicely with the laws of thermodynamics especially the second law. This law states that the universe as time moves forward is always increasing in entropy. Essentially, entropy describes the level of energy and randomness a collection of atoms has. Increased entropy means that atoms are decreased in energy and increased in randomness and disorder. The universe can only increase in entropy according to that second law of thermal dynamics. It can't decrease. To better explain this, just think of a tree that's a state of low entropy. Then put that same tree through a wood chipper. Now it's in a state of higher entropy. The atoms are still the same ones that made up the tree, but now there's more randomness, more disorder, you simply can't put them back in the wood chipper backwards and get a tree again. That's not how the universe works. Or is it? Because that's exactly what a white hole would do. They are black holes, but reversed in time. Now, that doesn't mean that time runs backwards with white holes, but rather they are objects that mathematically allow for decreased entropy. Both white holes and black holes have an event horizon and a singularity. If you cross the event horizon of a black hole, you'll never be able to escape. But with a white hole, you can't cross the event horizon. In fact, you would never actually be able to reach the event horizon. You could travel straight at a white hole event horizon for an infinite amount of time and never actually cross it. It's also sometimes theorized that a white hole is the opposite side of a black hole, making the assumption that a black hole would be the entrance to a wormhole, with the white hole being the exit. It's also theorized that white holes are potentially responsible for the Big Bang, or in reality, was the Big Bang itself. And while a white hole has never officially been detected in the universe, scientists did find a massive gamma ray burst back in 2006 that some assume was actually a white hole. Normally a gamma ray burst only lasts for a few seconds if things like, you know, neutron stars collide or black holes are formed. And gamma ray bursts can last for up to a few minutes from something like a supernova explosion. This gamma ray burst back in 2006 with the super easy name to remember, GRB 060614, lasted for 100 in two seconds. Scientists initially assumed that that was just from a supernova, but when they went back to look, there were no signatures that a supernova explosion happened at all. It seemingly came out of nowhere and vanished 102 seconds later. If that were a white hole, that would actually be in line with how long they would actually exist in the universe. As white holes go against the laws of physics, the universe doesn't want anything existing for a very long period of time that violates those laws. So if a white hole were to be born, it would quickly die out and turn into a black hole. So while white holes still mainly just exist in mathematical proofs within Einstein's equations, that's probably a good thing because the only thing scarier than a black hole in the universe is a white hole.